everyone, it's Hannah and I am back with another video. If you are new here, I am a rising sophomore at Yale University. That is why today we are looking at an episode of Gilmore Girls and comparing it to Yale and re in real life. So I made another one of these videos um, about Rory's move-in day and I compared that to my move-in day and I think a lot of it was different because of the time it was filmed um, compared to now because it was filmed quite a while ago but there's a lot of differences at Yale now so today I just kind of felt like I don't know why like because it's not even like near game day because we're not in school but um I felt at looking at the episode where Rory goes to the Harvard Yale game and I really liked that episode and it got me really pumped to go to Yale and um to go to the game but yeah, so let's see. In addition to being complete, think, rather a chubby lad. So one night we tied him in between two mattresses and threw him out the window. What? I'm writing that one down. Was he okay? Oh, he was fine. He went to sleep, woke up in the morning, and picked up right where he left off. Man. We wound up throwing him out the window every night for a month, and then he transferred. Well, do you think you guys tossing him out the window on a regular basis might have had something to do with that decision? Well, it crossed our minds, yes. However, we were young and full of energy. Every day was an adventure. No challenge was too great. We wanted to change the world. This is so great. Richard, I want to thank you. Okay, so I didn't really want to get into their conversation. Kind of weird. Who? Um. Anyway. This is them eating at a dining hall at Yale. I don't know what college dining hall it's supposed to be, but it does look um, a lot like, kind of like a combination of some of the dining halls at Yale. Um, in the background, the wood panel things on the walls, and then you kind of make out like a, a, like a portrait in the background, and then the doorways are like kind of like, I don't know. It just looks exactly like kind of like the Yale vibe um there are a lot of dining halls that have those kind of walls and the tables look like that mostly all the dining halls have like portraits of the deans and yeah I'd even say like I was checking out their plates and it has like they have like the little like Yale like like the outline on it so I was like whoa they even got that um so that was cool and also, just want to say one thing about the dining halls at Yale. I literally love the food at Yale so much. Honestly, I love it so much. I don't even go to shops and, like, the restaurants in New Haven because I think the dining hall food is superb. Like, I think it's so good. Not Maybe not superb, but, like, I think it's very good. <sighs> Let's skip ahead. May I have some more roast, please, Grandma? Of course you may. It's really good tonight, Mom. Thank you, Lorelai. Oh, by the way, Rory, we will pick you up in front of your residence hall tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock sharp. Okay. Tomorrow? What's happening tomorrow? Tomorrow's the game. Oh, the game... The game. The Harvard-Yale game. Right, right. Football? Lorelai. Why does the question football get a Lorelai? Yes, it's football. The most important football game of the entire year. All of Yale will be there. Oh, cool. Can I go? You want to go to a football game? Well, if it's such a big deal, absolutely. But you don't like football. Well, no, I'm not the diehard fan that say, you are, Mom, but it's Rory's school. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. They, people got so confused, like, who didn't go to Yale when I called it the game. Um, but that's what it, everyone calls it. It's because it's the, the biggest game of the year since it's Harvard versus Yale, and they're, like, rival schools, you know. Yeah, it kind of is sad, though, and I wish that I went to more football games throughout the year. But, like, barely anyone goes to the football games. I mean, compared to, like, other schools, like, a lot of my friends go to UConn. And, like, everyone's at the game, like, at their games, like, all the time. Um, aside all of that, I just want to mention that I guess this is their Friday dinners. I think it's so weird. I honestly think it's so weird that Rory, um, that she goes to her grandmother's, or, like, to her grandparents' house, like, every week basically um if i'm remembering correctly i think that's very strange because she's supposed to they're supposed to live like outside of hartford or like near hartford and 
Yale's in New Haven. Yes, they're both in Connecticut, but it's like an hour and a half about um, drive, and pe most people don't have a car on campus, so I'm like, how does she make that like hour and a half? Like, I went home a lot during the year, not as much as Rory, but like I went home to see my sister, and I live way closer than that, and it was still hard, um, because either she's taking public transportation there, she's taking, like, a train, I don't know, or she's, like, they didn't have Uber back then, like, I don't know what she's doing, so that's always been, like, a big question to me for this show, because she lives quite far from, uh, Yale. I think... They mentioned that they were going to pick her up from her residential blah, blah, residential hall. And I would think that Rory, I mean, I don't know. But I feel like the fun part of it is, you know, we take school buses to the Yale Bowl if it's at Yale. Because every year it changes between Yale and Harvard. If it's at Yale, we take, like, these school buses. We all gather on. We, uh, we wait outside of the gym. And we get on the school buses, and they take us to the Yale Bowl. And I think it's fun, kind of cute and fun experience. But then they said that they're going to pick her up. So I'm like, that kind of ruins the experience. I don't know, just in my opinion. But, I mean, she does have that close relationship with them. But I don't know. And then she's, she goes back to Stars Hollow after this, too. And just seems like she spends an awfully amount of time off campus not studying. So... So this is where they get picked up for the game. Oh, my God. Lorelai, Rory. It's a fine day for football. And funny hats. If you're going to continue sitting on the ground like that, you should get yourself a saxophone and a tip cup. Sorry. Oh, right. Lorelai, what are you wearing? Uh, I'm sorry. You're horrified by what I'm wearing? You're wearing crimson. You're not wearing crimson. Oh, she can't go like that. Crimson is Harvard's color. That's a very dangerous choice to make today, Lorelai. I'm not wearing crimson. I'm wearing... Red. Same thing. Very different. Look at Rory. Rory is dressed in Yale colors. Why can't you be like Rory? Rory looks perfect. Rory got dressed five minutes before you got here and she's wearing my sweater. Hey. Well, I could just as easily have been the one dressed right. You can wear my jacket. You have a samurai sword under those pom-poms, Mom? Because you're gonna have to kill Bill me to get me into the arm. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, what have you got there, Rory? Big Newtons. Big Newtons? A little dessert for later. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. We got the jumbo pack. We're not cheap. I'm sorry, Rory. We didn't mean to laugh at you. We love your Fig Newtons. We will honor them and eat them proudly. They're just Fig Newtons, guys. Don't get all freaky on us. Oh, well, let's get going. So, what time does the game start? One. One? Then why the hell do we have to meet you at nine? Is it absolutely necessary for you to talk like Sharon Osbourne? You're the one with the dirty button. There's much more to the big game day than the game, Lorelai. There are all kinds of rituals and traditions we Gilmores take part in. First off, Visit to Dan. A visit to Dan. Who's Dan? Come along, ladies. Who's Dan? Button your coat. Who's Dan? Girls, I'd like you to meet Dan. The original handsome Dan. Okay, I don't think there's no handsome Dan statue. I've never seen. Uh uh. But handsome Dan is the mascot for Yale, and they actually have like a real, um, Bulldog. Yeah, everyone dresses all Ye all their Yale gear, any Yale gear they have, put it on, um, just load it all up. You cannot wear red if you're supporting Yale, um, <laughs> because like when you look out at the football field, it's like all blue, all red. But yeah, they Handsome Dan actually like walks around with. Um, I actually don't know who like walks him around, but they do walk him around, and you get to pet him. Um, so this is kind of creepy, the statue. <laughs> and I don't know why they're making fun of her Fig Newtons. I love Fig Newtons. Like, why would, I don't understand. Why were they laughing at that? <laughs> the very first Yale mascot. Oh my. Just look at it, will you? Strong, determined, the very essence of dignity. Got cotton stuffed in his butt. How dignified is that? You will not sully the name of Dan. This dog has been the inspiration for many a young man. And young woman. We salute you, Dan. Time for a toast. Seriously? Oh, it's a tradition. Here we go. The Rory flask. Oh. And the fun flask. <laughs> Thank you. Lorelai? Fun flask, please. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. Give our boys the strength 
to do battle yet again for the honor of Yale and help us send the Harvard boys home in a body bag. Dan, we salute you. To Dan. To Dan. Mm, I like football. Okay, so if you're not with your grandparents, um, yes, the day still starts at like about nine. Um, and it's it's like hikey crazy. I've only been to one game and at Yale, but everyone starts pre-gaming like that early. Like they just like took a shot or whatever. Everyone, you know, loads on the bus and it goes to the tailgate before the game and everyone's drinking again. I don't drink. So um, I was just kind of like walking around like taking in everything and it was a lot crazier than this. Let me just skip ahead a little to where they get to their tailgate. It's nice to meet you. We're over there. I don't care where you are. I found my place in life. It's here right next to- Oh my god. What? Look. Richard, make sure he doesn't burn those. See you, Benny. Okay, let's tailgate. I really like football. I have no clue where they were stationed. At the Yale Bowl, I didn't see, there was like stands for you to buy stuff, but I didn't see like people making their own like barbecue and stuff like that. So maybe I just like missed it, but I didn't see that. And I don't know if I have that. The tailgate that I went to was basically right outside of the Yale Bowl and it was like this huge field and right like there was a field here just imagine field and then over here there was like Yale dining catering over here was all of like the drinks that people had like I don't even know who's providing it to be honest but and everyone was just like drinking and there's they're playing like music kind of and it was like muddy and it was like, it wasn't my vibe, but like, that's how it was. And then finally found my way to like, right outside of the Yale Bowl. And that's where there was more of like, concession stands where I got like, pretzels. And like, I don't know what else I got. I think I got like, popcorn. Stuff like, you know, stuff like that. But there wasn't, it wasn't like, they later drink like, Shirley Temples and stuff. It was not, I did not see people doing that, but okay, let's see when Paris arrives. Oh, Rory, good. Here. What's this? I want you to take a win-lose photo. A what? A photo is if we won, and a photo is if we lost. That way I have it to remember the day by. Well, why don't you just wait until we win or lose to take the photo? Oh, please. I'm already so bored out of my mind, I'm thinking of transferring to Princeton just for the hell of it. There's no way I'm going to make it to the game. Just take the picture so I can go home. Okay. We won. We lost. We're done. I'm out of here. <laughs> Paris, I like, I love Paris. Like, honestly, I would have probably have been like that. I, I do enjoy going and watching sports. I like, I think basketball and football are my two favorite sports to watch. But, <laughs> I like, I definitely feel, I feel Paris, like, I feel that. But the game is definitely something that you have to experience if you go to Harvard or Yale. Like, you have to experience it. It's it's just a really good time to, you know, watch a football game because, like, all year you're studying your butt off and um, this is just, like, a chill time to, like, be a college student and watch a football game. This part, I see the whiff and poofs are singing. I love, I love the acapella scene at Yale, um, but they definitely did not, they definitely did not sing at the football game. Uh, unless they like came together and did, and I just didn't see it, but it's so cute. I love the acapella groups. Mama, we are there black sheep. There's no celery. Sandy, I told you to cut enough celery for the entire day. Mama, So much pain tomorrow. What is this? Sandy? What is this? It's the cookies. It's the cookies my granddaughter brought. Okay. Enough with um <laughs> enough with Emily. But 
Oh my gosh, Richard singing with the whiff and poofs. That is the whiff and poof song. Before getting into Yale, like literally the whole year when I was applying to colleges, I would just listen to Harvard and Yale acapella because they were my favorite acapella like groups out of all the Ivy Leagues. Um, and I listened to listen to like the Whiff and Poofs and the Spizzwinks at Yale and like now I know some people who are in the Spizzwinks. I don't think I know anyone in the Whiff and Poofs, but I love the Whiff and Poof song and that's what they were singing. Ah, I just love the vibes of all the acapella. I put too much honey. Okay, so yeah, that's all that I have for this video. Um, I thought at the end of this I would just share some of my clips that I had from game day um, from this past year at Yale. So I'm going to share those, but just I just want to remind you guys that this is going to be a series and I hope that you stay tuned for more videos. I hope you like and subscribe, turn on those notifications, do whatever. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Class of 1961.